You're diving like a real pro, yeah? <laughs> You'll always be the pro, Waka. I don't know. It's been so long since I trained. <laughs> you have gotten a little chubby. <laughs> ah, ha, ah, no. And you're not even the one having the baby. Ah. <laughs> It's been two years. I've learned how to hold my breath for more than two minutes now. It takes more than physical strength, and there are some tricks you can't be taught. It took practice, lots and lots of practice. I just had to keep trying until I figured it out for myself. And you know what? Back then, I didn't think there were any tricks to it at all. I didn't have time to think. An eternal calm. A slightly chubby waka. And my two minutes, 41 seconds. It's not much, but it's enough. Lady Una, it is a pleasure to meet you. I, I heard your speech two years ago in the stadium, but s seeing you this close, you, you look so much more... I, I mean, you are truly beautiful. That's very kind of you to say. The reason I've come here today is to talk to you about my grandson. He's joined the Youth League, you see. I, I, I've nothing against the League, mind you. It's just me and the missus belong to New Yevon. My grandson used to attend all the party meetings with his parents, of course. That is, until one day. I'm sure being around people his own age can't be bad for the boy. Still, I am worried about him. I feel, oh, how shall I say this? Like our grandchildren are moving too quickly. In the last two years, new groups have been springing up all over. Everyone wants to be part of a new age. Everyone wants to build a new age. Everyone wants to build a new spirit. And they're all racing to find their own way to do it. I only want what's best for him. But it troubles me when we agree on so little. People have different ideas. And sometimes, they disagree on the right thing to do. Some people worry about what the New Age will bring. Sometimes, I worry too. I just have to tell myself that for now, I'm doing the right thing. I understand how you feel. But Tastio, maybe you should try talking to your grandson first. He may walk a different path, but I'm sure he wants the same for Spira, as we all do.
Yeah. What is it? Another visitor? No, no, I just wanted to chat, yeah? It's just uh, the old folks in the village. They'd like to see you get, uh, you know. And who is it this time? Well, they're saying it's the son of the chairman of New Yevon, yeah? Tell them no. He would only lose me. Uh, right. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'll go tell them myself. No, no. You leave that to me, yeah? Huh? You really don't want to see them anyway. You know how they get. Lady Yuna! <sighs> Lady Yuna, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Yaibo. I've come on Youth League business. I bring a message for you from our leader, Maven Nuge. She's not interested in joining, yeah? Oh? Is that why you've come? That is correct, my lady. I'm sorry, but I will not be joining any group. Perhaps the lady will start a group of her own. Leave us, please. Riku sometimes visits us here in Besaid. She's been traveling around Spira, salvaging ancient machina and teaching people how to use them. It's tiring work, but you wouldn't know it from looking at her. Hey, cut it out! Love sure got a handle on you. Where's Lulu? Back in a village. Go say hi, yeah? You betcha! And Yuna, you seem the same as always. Yeah, same as always. Is Kamari still on Mount Gagazet? Yeah, he's been up there teaching the orphan Ramzo all kinds of stuff. He's like this big guru now. That reminds me, I got something for you. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, here we go. Kamari found it up on the mountain. A sphere? Funny looking design, yeah? Take a good look, Yuna. No, I'm not sorry! I haven't done anything wrong! I know you're listening. If she was your girl, what would you do? How can you blame me for trying to use your weapon? It was the only way I could save the summoner. What would you do if you were me? Let me out! I want to see her! was a voice from the past. No, it was a voice that's never left me. What is this? What's he doing? I mean, is that really him? Is that... is he... what's going on? I'm not sure. But you want to find out, don't ya? Well, yeah, but... Yes! Let's go, then! Go where? Well, that's the tricky part. I know. Kimari found the sphere. Let's go talk to him. Whoa, whoa. You sure you're ready to just run off? Can't you wait until we find out a little more first? And just who's supposed to do the finding out? Leave that to us.
I'm sure Maven Nuge will agree to help. In fact, I volunteer to ask him myself. Be the ya. Understood. I shall return as soon as possible with a full report of our investigation. Well, look, I really want Yuna to go. She can't do that. Why not? Because she's book solid for three months, yeah? And everybody wants to see her. Oh, yeah? Well, what about what she wants? Well, yeah, but... <sighs> okay, maybe once things calm down, you know? And what if they don't, Waka? What then, huh? I don't believe it. After everything Yuna did for us. Why can't she just do what she wants to do now? Why? You know, every time I visited here, I wondered, why is it that when everyone's out making their dreams happen, and everyone's getting their chance, Yuna's dreams are on hold? Gee, it's not like you... Ooh. What do you know anyway, Tubby? Yuna? I want... I want to journey again. But if I leave, I'll be disappointing everyone else. I want... What's the point of pretending to be all grown up if it means the things I want to say never get said? How am I supposed to change anything? Hmm. I'll go. Yuna! <sighs> I know it's selfish, but this is my story. Right on! <laughs> I knew you'd say that, so I brought something just to Give me a break. First, a costume change. <laughs> you need a new look. You are a celebrity, so incognito's the way to go. But wait, you two. Uh, I'll go get Lou. An eternal calm. A slightly chubby waka. And my two minutes, 41 seconds. It's not much, but it's enough. Still, it's okay to want more, isn't it? Let's leave. Let's leave right now. 